What's up creators, Valentin here. In today's video, I'll show you what you have to do when you see this message in DaVinci Resolve. Media offline. There's many different ways to deal with this problem in Resolve, but if you don't want this to ever happen to you again, make sure to watch this video up until the very end where I'll show you how to organize all your media so that problems like these become a thing of the past for you. All right. If you don't know what is actually causing offline media, it basically comes down to missing files in most cases. That means that files have either been moved or deleted from the folders they were in when you imported them into your DaVinci Resolve project. Long story short, to make everything work again, you either have to restore all your media clips and put them back in their original folders or relink all offline media to tell DaVinci Resolve about their new location. There's a few different ways to achieve this, but let's start with the easiest one that will automatically guide you through the process. Whenever DaVinci Resolve detects offline media inside of a project, this small red broken chain icon will appear in the media pool of your edit page that says Relink Media when you hover your mouse over it. Click on it and DaVinci Resolve will show you how many of your clips are missing. If your original media files were spread out across multiple folders, you will see each source folder here that is now missing files. All you have to do now is go ahead and locate the new destination of each source folder. In most cases, this should solve all of your problems already, but if it doesn't, you can try a full disk search, which does take quite a bit of time though. Instead of relocating the whole source folder, you can also relink individual clips by selecting them in your media pool. Right click on them and choose relink selected clips, then go ahead and navigate to the place where you have moved these clips, select them, and voila, everything should be fine again. All right, now that we've talked about how to relink your media after it went missing, let's talk about how to make sure that this doesn't happen to you ever again. The solution to the problem is called Eagle, which is an application that allows you to organize all your media assets in one place and search through them in lightning speed. The great thing about Eagle is the fact that once you import a file and it doesn't matter whether it's a photo, a video, or whatever, the file will stay in the same place on your hard drive, even if you move it to a different folder inside of your Eagle library, which means no more missing media for you ever again. And if that sounds great to you, then you're in for a good time here because that's far from everything the Eagle app has to offer. Let me give you a few more good reasons why you should organize all your media assets with Eagle in the future. When you import files into your library, you can start working on your video projects immediately without the need to put any of your files into a folder as you can do all of that later on without running into any problems. You can even put the same file into multiple folders without taking twice the space on your hard drive, which still absolutely blows my mind here to be honest. That's because whenever you import new files into your library, Eagle automatically recognizes duplicates and asks you whether you want to import them into your current folder. This makes sure that storage space is used optimally as you will never have to worry about duplicates again. Moving your Eagle library to another hard drive or copying just some of your assets to another library is no problem either. All you have to do is adjust one source folder inside of DaVinci Resolve and everything will be linked perfectly again. The way the Eagle app handles this is by putting every single file inside of your library into its own folder. Each folder has its own metadata which allows Eagle to search the files insanely fast. And like I said previously, even if you put your files into multiple folders inside of your Eagle library, the app will simply adjust the metadata for that file and leave it at its original physical location, which is perfect for all us video editors out there. As if all of that wasn't enough to convince you of this app already, here's another Eagle feature that I'm sure every video editor out there will appreciate. Just hover your mouse over a song or sound effect and playback starts automatically, with no additional player in between to slow you down, which means that you can fully focus on your workflow for absolutely maximum maximum speed and efficiency. I just love this feature and have to be honest with you here, after working with Eagle for over half a year now, I can't imagine living without it. Finding files has never been quicker and not having to worry about where you save your files is that peace of mind that every creator should be able to witness. Now, you might be thinking that all of this sounds too good to be true. There must be a catch to it, right? Do you want to know the truth? I was expecting the software to be based on a subscription model, but I am so insanely glad that it isn't. The Eagle app comes with a 30-day free trial and is a one-time payment of roughly $30 for two devices. I know I might be repeating myself here and in future videos, but take that Adobe. When I found out about the Eagle app earlier this year, I reached out to them and asked whether they were interested in a collaboration. And I'm glad to announce that you can now get a small discount if you sign up for my newsletter. They were offering me a commission of 30% initially for every single sale, but I decided that it would be a lot more fair if I would share it 50-50 with all of my viewers. So here we are now. All right, if you're interested in the Eagle app, then head over to my website and sign up for my newsletter right here, and you should be receiving your discount in just a few minutes. If you want to learn more about the Eagle app, then here's another video that could be interesting for you. And that video right here was selected by the YouTube algorithm just for you. My name is Valentin Kosenko. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.